one and two. Today, we're going to talk about how to install Lightroom presets and profiles on your phone. This tutorial works for both iOS and Android, so let's do this. Hey guys, this is Justin and welcome to my channel where it's all about photos, videos, and camera stuff for beginners. Start learning right now by subscribing and clicking the bell button beside. Follow me on Instagram as well if you want to learn more about camera settings because I post my settings alongside my photos every single day. Adobe Lightroom Mobiles has made a huge impact on how we edit our photos on our phones. No longer we are bounded by filters or colors provided by some other app. There are a number of ways to install presets or profiles on your phones. But first, we need to determine your situation before we can discuss what step to take in order for you to install your profiles or presets. For this tutorial, I'm going to use my very own Cyberpunk presets and profiles. So you guys will have like a live preview. So if you have an active Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, then fire up Lightroom CC on your computer first. Then go to File, Import Profiles and Presets. Select the folder where you have saved your profiles and presets and then click import. Do the same thing again for profiles if you have. So since you have an active Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, then everything is taken care of. It will be synced automatically from your Lightroom CC to your Lightroom Mobile. And to look for your presets and profiles, go to profiles and you will see it under any kind of name that you have saved in your Lightroom CC. In my case, it's going to be Cyberpunk Lightroom presets and profiles. And to look for presets, just navigate to presets panel and it's there as well. It's very well taken care of and the syncing process is really, really seamless. But if they are not managed well, then you can always click manage presets and then group them all together in a folder and then name them properly so that you don't confuse yourself. So what happens if you only use Lightroom Mobile and nothing else? So you don't have any active subscription. Well, that is taken care of for you as well. Unfortunately, you can't use profiles because you don't have an active subscription and there's no way to load profiles into Adobe Lightroom mobile yet, but you can always use presets. Usually these kind of presets are specially designed for mobile and they come in .dng file formats. Assuming that you already have your presets downloaded into your phone, you can use AirDrop from your Mac, or if you're using Windows, you can transfer them via USB, or you can just upload them into Google Drive and download them. If you're on iOS, I would strongly suggest you to use iZip to extract the files that you have just imported. So just extract the files on your phones and then it's time to open Lightroom Mobile. Next is to create an album. So for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to name this album Cyberpunk Lightroom Presets and Profile. But you can name anything that you want as long as you can remember them. The next step is to add the .dng files that you have just extracted on your mobile phone. Just add them and if you have saved them into your camera roll instead, if you're on iOS, do that too. If you're on Android, just navigate to where you have saved the files and then import them in. You will see the whole presets being loaded into the album. You can start by selecting any image that you want or maybe the first image and then click on the three dots icon and then click create preset. Remember to always name your files, your presets, your profiles properly so that you don't confuse yourself when you're using it because you're gonna have more and more later on. I am going to name mine as Cyberpunk City-01. Just click done when you're done and then now you just have to do the same for the rest of the presets. So next time when you have a picture that you wanna edit, just go to, just select your picture and then select the preset that you want, apply it and here we go. If you have an active subscription and you have profiles loaded into your mobile app as well, then you can use the profiles alongside with the opacity slider. It's a lifesaver, trust me on that. So that's all for this video. And I have more tutorials coming out for beginners. So don't miss out on any of them by subscribing as well as clicking the bell button beside. If you like and take a lot of night photos and you want to spice them up even more, then why don't you check out my website for my presets and profiles. And if you want to have a more detailed guide with step-by-step -step pictures, then check out my website for this written article as well. Everything will be linked down in the description. Like if you like this video and thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.